Solving exponential equations. All right. If possible, try to get the same, oh my gosh, the same bases. Okay, try to get the same bases. So why do we do this? Our game plan on how to solve exponential equations, the game plan is once we get the same base, then what do we have? We have a to the x equals a to some y, okay? And once we know that they're the same base, all we have to do is look at the exponents, okay? All we gotta do is look at the exponents and set them equal. Ooh, right? Ooh, all right. No fun. Okay, then I set x equal to y. All right. We can do this because a to the x is one to one. All right, it's a one to one function. So here's an example. Take nine to the x minus 27 equal to zero. I'm trying to get x by itself. I'm trying to solve for x, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 27 to both sides. And remember, what's the game plan? The game plan is get the same base. Now, right now, my base here is nine and my base here is 27. Okay, do I have the same base? No. Is there a way to rewrite nine and 27 to have the same base? Well, what do I notice about nine? Nine is equal to three squared, okay? And 27 is three times three times three, which is three cubed, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite this as three squared x equals three cubed to the one, right? That's what's going on here. So I replace nine with, 3 squared and 27 with 3 cubed. When I have a power to a power, what do I do to the exponents? I multiply. So that's 3 times, 3 raised to the 2 times x equals what? 3 raised to the 3 times 1. Okay, so now that I have the same place or the same base, what's the game plan say to do? set the exponents equal to each other. What are my exponents here? 2x and 3. So 2x equal to 3, solve for x, divide by 2, divide by 2. My answer, x equals 3 over 2. How about that? If you type this in the calculator, 9 raised to the 3 over 2, um, if I plug that in there, I should get 27. Let's see. 9 raised to the parentheses, 3 divided by 2, close parentheses, 27. Bingo. All right. So 27 minus 27 is 0. So the answer checks out. Let's do another one, see if we can keep following our game plan. So here's another example. 8 to the y minus 1 equals 1 over 2. Can I write these with the same base? Well, look. What's promising here is I see an eight and a two. Both of those I know are even, right? So I want, I'm thinking like two to something equals two to something, right? I just gotta figure out what those somethings are, okay? Now, the left side's not as bad. How can I rewrite this one over two to the positive one? I can do the reciprocal, flip it up, but when I do reciprocal, what happens to the exponent? It changes sign, right? From positive up to negative. Okay, so we got that. We got a base of two over here. How do I rewrite eight? Well, I know eight is the same as two cubed. So I got two cubed raised to what exponent? Y minus one, okay? Now power to a power, I multiply. Do not forget to distribute here. That's the big mistake I see students make. They forget to distribute. So this is two to the three y minus three equals two to the negative one. Same base, set the exponents equal. What do you get? 
3y minus 3 equals negative 1. Add 3, add 3. 3y equals 2. y equals 2 over 3. Oh my goodness. Is this getting okay to do? I hope so. The game plan is figure out a way to rewrite the bases to be the same number. Once you get that done, once that's done, then all you do is set your exponents equal to each other. And that's how you get your value. Okay, so we're just going to keep running through and doing some more practice problems. Okay, why not, huh? Let's try this one. 16x to the x equals 32 to the x minus 1. So I want you to sit here and think about this for a second. What base, what base is the same for both? Okay, what, how can I, now, okay, someone might say, all right, what about 4? Four? 4, yeah, so 4, um, 4 times 4, that's 4 squared, that's 16, that works, absolutely. And, but 4 divides this, but that's 4 times 8. Oh, what's the problem with that? That's not 4 by itself, right? It's got a 4 and it's got an 8, so that's 4 times 2 times 4. So it's not quite what we need, right? So that one doesn't work. 4 won't work. That's not good enough, okay? So what else can we do to make it have the same base? Hmm, hmm. Well, what if we factored it even further? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So 16 is equal to 2 to the 4th, okay? And what about 32? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 32, right? So 2 to the 5th is 32. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay, so the 16 becomes 2 to the 4th raised to the x equals, and the 32 becomes 2 to the 5th, raised to the x minus 1. So what do I do? Power to a power, multiply your exponents. What do you get? 2 raised to the 4x equals 2 raised to the 5 times x minus 1. Don't forget your parentheses. Distribute. So I have this equals this. 4x equals, distribute this, I get 5x minus 5, okay? 5x minus 5, so to solve for x, minus 5x minus 5x, negative x equals negative 5, so divide by negative 1, I get x equals 5 here. x is equal to 5, how about that? That's not too bad. Let's do another one. This is so fun, isn't it? 7 to the x squared plus 3x equals 1 over 49. Okay, how do 49 and 7 relate? Well, I think you both, you and I both know how this relates. This 49, we can rewrite as 1 over 7 squared, and the 1 over 7 squared becomes 7 to the negative 2. So now we have... Same base, set the exponents equal. x squared plus 3x equals negative 2. Oh my goodness, we don't have just some two-step linear equation? Oh man, I'm so sorry. Plus 2 on both sides, you get x squared plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. If you do this, this is a trinomial, I think t-chart, so something that multiplies to 2 adds to 3. Oh my goodness, 2 times 1 and uh, 2 plus 1, that gets me 3, so that works. So since the coefficient in front is a 1, it's my easy one. So x plus 2, x plus 1 equal to 0. Solve for x, I get x equals negative 2 or x equals negative 1. Okay, so my solutions right here. Two different possible solutions for this exponential equation, okay? Um, let's try one more and then I'll let you get out of here, okay? Or at least be finished with 7.1. 
All right, so six to the two x equals 36 to the two x minus three. 36 to the two x minus three. All right, what base looks like would be the same here? Think about it for just a second, all right? All right, got it, cool. Six is six, but six times six gets me 36, so six squared I can replace the 36 with six squared. So I have six to the two x equals six squared to the two x minus three. Multiply through, you get six to the two x equals six to the four x minus six. Same base, what do I do? Set the exponents equal, two x equals four x minus six. Minus two x minus two x. Oh no, I've got nothing over here and that's equal to two x minus six. What do I do? Well, I don't have nothing over there. I got something over there. This is zero, right? Add six to both sides. I get six equals two x, divide by two, and I get x equals three. How about that? Not too bad, huh? Not too bad for a day's work. So the game plan here, don't forget the game plan. You want to have the same base once you get the same base, you set the exponents equally to, to each other and then solve, okay? That's all there is to it.